All right, Coach, final score on the day. You got to pick six. Talk about the defense and how you guys were able to keep the pressure up the entire day and keep the score low for them. Well, we're a defense that, that uh, really likes to pressure the other team. It's a little tougher against these double wing teams, but, uh, you know, we like to, to, to blitz people from a lot of different places. And the secondary is aggressive. We play a lot of man coverage, a lot of mixed coverages. This guy here has had, that's his fifth interception of the year, his second pick six. So that's a clutch play by him. Awesome. Okay. awesome. So do you want to talk about that interception, sir? What was going through your head and how you made the play? I mean, all the credit goes to the defense for putting pressure on the quarterback. All I had to do was step up, hit me in the chest. So credit goes to the, uh, the rest of the defense for putting pressure on the quarterback. Awesome. Now, Coach, prior to that, you guys had about a four-minute drive. Yeah. How did it feel? How did you feel driving down the field and once that oh, interception man. on their end took place in the end zone? I felt that, that we were going to get the ball into the end zone. So it didn't feel very good when they, when they made the pick. I, I know Jack was trying to throw it away because he had a lot of pressure off the left side. So I know that's what he was trying to do. And, uh, you know, so, but the defense stepped up and saved us there, gave us a little bit of a cushion. And then on the next series, they came right back, but uh, we stopped them again. Now, what did you say to the defense? Because the first play on that series, you guys have a five-yard loss, and then you guys have that interception for the score. I don't honestly remember. I think I just wanted to, to tell them that they had to make plays now. You know, that it was crunch time and big teams make big plays. So we wanted to win a championship, we had to make the play. Awesome. Now, you guys obviously had that score on defense. Talk about the offensive production for today. You have Cross and Hume leading the team in terms of rushing. Well, in terms of on offense, we get a lot of different weapons. And I think Shepard Hill did a great job defensing us. And I think uh, we hurt ourselves a couple of times. But went to a lot of different people, you know, uh, Cross was big, you know, he's not a very big guy, but uh, he's one of the strongest guys on the team, and he just tends to find the hole and get into the end zone. Uh, Hume has played a lot of offense this year with a bad ankle early in the year, he came through what we needed, but I had been telling him that in about three weeks, and we're going to count on him at oh. some point, and so he uh, came up big today. The other person I want to mention, uh, John Ajuku is usually one of our go-to guys. He's not fully healthy, number five. He had the big run at the beginning of the game. It kind of sets the tone offensively. We use him as a decoy a lot because teams have to respect his speed. But he's completely healthy, makes a difference. Awesome. A full team that's got a lot of weapons and stuff to defend him. Awesome. Now, Hume, talk about coming up big on offense, literally. As you're going down the field, you take guys with you. Um, well, that, that one long run I had, that was, that was the biggest hole I've ever seen from the ball. But it, it was great block. You know, uh, um, I mean, no. I just ran straight. You know, it, it was a huge hole. Awesome. Now, Coach, that second to last touchdown that you guys have, Shatner catches the ball to set up that cross touchdown. Uh, how does it feel having a guy who may not have the most receiving yards, but in a playoff game down the line can give you that catch to move the ball forward? Oh, I'm he's sorry. Our leading receiver. He's the guy that we go to when we throw. You know, teams usually double team him, and I think they were doing a lot of that today. He finds a way to get open. In that particular route, he has an option of going deep with number back on it. So, Mr. Mr. S, my apologies for my, my slip there. How does it feel being the leading receiver on the team and being able to put the ball down there for that catch? I mean, it's a good feeling, but again, all the credit goes to the lineman for blocking the quarterback and the jacket for the ball. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Congratulations. Thank you.